Alright, so we already learned about the ideal gas, the ideal gas laws, and the ideal gas equation. So on this video, we're going to learn how to use the ideal gas equation in reaction stoichiometry calculation. And we're going to do that by answering the question that you see on the screen now. Okay? So let us first read our question. So the decomposition of sodium azide, Na and 3, at high temperatures produces nitrogen gas N2, together with the necessary device to initiate the reaction and trap the sodium metal formed, this reaction is used in airbag safety systems. What volume of nitrogen measured at 735 millimeter mercury and 26 degrees Celsius is produced when 70 grams of NaN2 is decomposed? So we have our reaction right here and as you can see, our reaction is already balanced, no? So, hindi na natin kailangan mag-balance pa ng reaction. But that will be the first step that you need to do before doing any calculation. Make sure that your reaction is balanced. Okay, so our required is to find the volume of N2 gas. Okay, so that means our required is to find the volume of our N2 gas. Okay, so this is our required. And our condition is at 735 millimeter mercury and 26 degrees Celsius produced when 70 grams of NaN3 is decomposed. So our NaN3 or sodium acid is 70 grams. Okay, so this is the amount of sodium acid that was burned or decomposed, I mean. Okay, so now. What do we need to do? As we said, we need to get the volume. No? So we know that we are going to use our ideal gas equation, which is PV is equal to nRT, diba? So our required is to find the volume. So we already have the pressure here and the temperature, and R is a constant, so we just need to get the number of moles. But we already know the amount of sodium azide that was decomposed. So we're going to take the stoichiometric relationship of our sodium azide to the nitrogen gas, okay? So we need to get the number of moles of N2 gas. Okay, so how are we going to do that? We know the sodium azide here, we have 70 grams. So we have 70 grams of sodium azide. So we need to get the number of moles of our sodium acid. So we are going to divide it to its molecular weight. So sodium acid, okay, the molecular weight of sodium acid is 65.01. You can calculate for this. Okay, get the molecular weight of sodium and nitrogen. Huh? Then you will arrive with 65.01 grams of NaN3 for every one mole of Na N3. Okay, so this is our molecular weight. So let me label that para hindi kayo malito. So this is the molecular weight of sodium acid. Right? Alright, so now we have the number of moles of Na N3. But we need to get the number of moles of nitrogen. And you can do that by doing stoichiometry. Okay, so let us do that. As you can see, for every 2 moles of sodium acid, we have 2 moles of sodium acid. We have 3 moles of nitrogen N2. So we have 3 moles of N2. Okay, so ang magiging sagot natin dito will be the number of moles of N2 because our grams of Na entry will be cancelled out. Mole of Na entry will be cancelled out. So, my E1 is moles of nitrogen. Okay? So, that means our answer here will be the number of moles of N2 gas. Okay? So, let us calculate for that. So, we have 70 divided by 65.01. 
times 3 divided by 2. So we have 1.615 moles of N2. Alright, so we already know the number of moles of nitrogen. So we need to get our other variable. So alam na natin our pressure is equal to 735 millimeter mercury. But we need to convert that to atmosphere. So we have 760 millimeter mercury for every one atmosphere. So our millimeter mercury unit will be cancelled out. So we will have 735 divided by 760. So we have 0 0.967. 0. Point, oh sorry, we will use white. 0 0.967 atmosphere. Okay. So for our temperature. So, ang given natin is 26 degrees Celsius. So, 26 degrees Celsius plus 273.15. This is equal to 299. So, 299.15 Kelvin. Alright. So, makuha na natin lahat ng ating variables. No? Now, we can isolate for our volume by transposing itong ating pressure so we will be able to get the volume so from pbnrt we have v is equal to nrt over t okay so substitute natin lahat ang ating variable so how many moles of nitrogen we have we have 1.615 mole then from our r we have 0 0.08205 8 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. Then, for our temperature, we have 299.15 Kelvin. And then, our denominator is our pressure, which is 0 0.967 atmosphere. Okay, so, we'll cancel the number of mole. Kelvin and the atmosphere. So, ang may iwan sa ating unit is liter. So, our answer here will be in liter. So, our volume is equal to, let's use our calculator again. We have, okay, so let's move here. Uh, 1.615 times 0 0.082058. Times 299.15 divided by 0.967. So our volume is 40.997, which is also, you know, we can say this is equal to 41 liters, right? So we can write here 41 liters. Okay, so this is our final answer. Okay, so as you can see, this is how we apply the ideal gas equation to problems similar like this, wherein we have a reaction which we will be applying a stoichiometry in order to get the number of moles of our component. Okay, so there are lots of possible situation or condition that you will be using ideal gas equation in chemistry and even in thermodynamics. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.